Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that our Celis Mark S has officially reached its seventh major version update. And regarding this specific update, we have mainly focused on upgrading the underlying testing algorithm. The main thing is that we brought back the single core test. And then this brand new algorithm actually features 16 different test items, which includes things like AES encryption as well as decompression tasks. You can take a look at the performance scheduling right here. During the first three minutes of the single core phase, we are only utilizing a single thread. You can actually see the CPU usage rate right here. I try to make sure that it runs primarily on the big core here, using only a single thread here. Then, starting from minute 3 and going to minute 9, it switches over to the multi-core testing phase. For the multi-core section, we have really increased the pressure. It basically runs at maximum capacity, takes a short break, then maxes out completely again, and then takes a rest. Maxes out, rests again, maxes out, rests again. After that comes the GPU test, which is our 3D GPU benchmark. You can see that during the GPU test, it fully utilizes the usage rate and frequency. Of course, this is without performance mode turned on since normal users cannot enable high performance mode directly on the phone. Doing that actually requires a PC connection. Also, here is a small detail update. Our leaderboard now uses average scores. We actually did this in the last version, but we didn't mention it to everyone. It looks much more intuitive this way, showing you the specs and other things like that. In this version, we are also going to add the single core score back in for you. However, the single core score is currently not super accurate just yet, so I suggest that everyone just runs it to give it a little try for the time being. You can first take a look at how the new test intensity performs, including things like the two-handed grip scenarios and other various holding or grip situations like that. And then, we have also added the photography grip scenarios. We expect to release this version sometime later on tonight. If you haven't downloaded it yet, just join the group and wait for the invite link. If you have already downloaded it, then you can just go directly to app test and update it right from there. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will reply to everyone that I see there.